is me, Zell, and we are here with another Star Wars Mandalorian episode reaction slash commentary. Just letting folks know that I have seen the show already once before, but at, from, from some requests and of course from um, not remembering some stuff and now with more information from seeing the past shows, I am re-watching it and recording it for your guys' enjoyment. So I will have definitely some commentary to provide to this again. And also just a reminder to folks, I'm gonna say the thing, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zell. That's X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Uh, so give a follow there. Check it out if you want to see some live stream gaming and chatting and other various activities. But in the meantime, we're going to be watching Mandalorian. Today we're going to be watching episode 3 titled The Sin. Oh my goodness. So that should be interesting. I can't recall what it is about pertaining this episode but but yeah otherwise thanks so much for checking this out guys and let's get to it <laughs> little peepers it kind of gives you that 80s feel just like when the original trilogy came out Mando. how that baby Mando. manages to unscrew that <laughs> I wonder how they managed to make the child work. Is it like a little droid? Like, is it mechanical? Or is it a puppet? I would cover that child. That's way too much of a curiosity for people. Oh! That race was the race of the guy from Je Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, that's all like, that's interesting. So did they build their stuff around that, or did they have lava flows slowly emerging their buildings? So cute. Easy with that. You take it easy. Sassy. And that's a lot, that's worth a lot of money, huh? Holy crap. And that stuff means more, yeah, more money to them. Such a than... large bounty. What are your plans for it? How uncharacteristic of one of your reputation. Asking questions. You have taken both commission and payment. Unfortunately, finding a Mandalorian these trying times is more difficult than finding the steel. Wow. So finding a Mandalorian. So do they just not know there's that group of them hiding underground? So are we assuming that they take turns going out? All these Embo hats! And the Twi'lek. Yeah, see that's the same race. I forgot his name. So they're saying underlying it's best car, but sometimes they paint over it to make different plan markings and colors. These were cast in an Imperial smelter. These are the spoils of the Great Purge. The reason that we live hidden like sand rats. Okay, there they go. Now we live in the shadows and only come above ground one at a time. Oh, wow. Our world was shattered by the Empire with whom this coward shares tables. He's not sharing tables, he's getting back what they deserve. The Empire is no longer and the Beskar. What kind of art what knife is that? I didn't you notice that before. And pray. You have earned the mud horn as your signet. There you go. They're answering questions the next episode. Reserve some for the foundlings. As it should always be. The foundlings are the future. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Aww. So all that to make him a new curious, she said, a chess piece. Whistling birds are a powerful defense against multiple enemies. They are cool. Well, it's interesting that they make them out of Beskar. <coughs> Whoa. So they were attacking his city. I can't tell if this is considered the purge. I don't know. We don't know really where he came from, huh? Just 
like wiping out people. <gasps> I saw a Zabrak. Maybe I already saw that. So he has, he just needs a leg piece then. Yeah, looking good, man. How many of them had tracking fobs? All of them. All of them. But not one of them closed the deal. Only you, Mando. Only mm. you. And with it, <laughs> the richest Chupa. reward this parson has. Yeah, but it means the most to the Mandalorian, so it's rightful that it went to him. They're all weighing the best car in their mind. I'll take you to the Twilight Healing Baths. Wow. I want my next job. Ah, oh, that's the best of the lot. A nobleman's son skipped bail. <laughs> Looks like you're headed to the ocean dunes of Karnak. The Empire is gone, Mando. All that really? Land, mercenaries and warlords. Let's go back to the core and report them to the New Republic. That's a joke. Mando, buy a camp to know spice. By the time you come out of hyperdrive, you will have forgotten all about it. Wow. It's like just in low joy life, he's like, it's not. Oh. He's giving, he's having feelings. Do it, do it. Go check out the child. The Empire's never up to any good. Oh, His little baby carriage. What should Lee order us to bring it back alive? Oh yeah, who's he? This is like a horror film. Whenever they should really make a horror flick with stormtroopers and Ewoks. Wow, right in the chest. Fast. I do believe that guy too. He's like a scientist, but he's like, Daddy's angry. <laughs> Yikes. Nope. Not going out that way. He just used all the tricks in his arsenal shooting, zapping, stabbing, flamethrowering, grabbing with his little rope lasso. It looks extra small there. See, that is cool. I do remember that part. The whistling birds are like, I mean, that was as good a time as any to use it. Oh, crap. That's dumb that they st all still have their fobs. I guess it was so recent. Uh oh. I wish there would could be like a little. They should have like a little bubble thing that would be like anti fob or something. Do they really think there's still gonna be reward out for that? Welcome back, Mando. It's coming with me. If you truly care about oh. the kid, then you put it on the speeder. Sucks to be that first guy. Yeah, he was using that moment to plan what he wanted to do. Okay. No, I don't think I will. Okay. <laughs> and that's an astromech, huh? All these people are fighting and they have, like, no armor. Their heads just bare out and exposed. And he has, like... Full fledged armor on. Every time that g they're like, oh, <laughs> you can't survive that. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. That should be illegal. Every time all the tricks uses, dang. 
Uh oh, out of juice. No jetpack? I guess not all Mandalorians do. Hey now! You don't mess with our Mandalorian. There they are. Wait a sec, did I see someone with a maul? Does that guy have a maul helmet on? Big boy, heavy. We'll hold them off. Oh. We're going to have to relocate the covert. This is the way. This is the way. They don't even know what he was doing and they still respected him. Hold it, Mando. You really think you can stop, Mando? All while holding a child. That's so cool, man. I feel like, I think that Mando knew where he was shooting there. He saw him pull it out. I gotta get one of those. <laughs> I know you do. I wonder why he doesn't. Oh. Cool. So that one was directed by Deborah Cho, which I believe they said she's gonna be doing one of the new shows, one of the new movies coming out. I honestly really liked this episode. I, obviously there's a lot of fighting we got to see, a lot of cool tricks that the Mandalorians are capable of. Not only did we get to see him finally turn in the child, but he fought to take the child back. He got his Beskar armor. We saw a little dispute between Mandos and a little bit about their background. And we got to see the Mandalorians come out from under the ground and fight and protect him. Oh, it's beautiful. They didn't know what he was up to, but they just knew he was part of their clan and they were going to respect and take care of their other, the other people part of their group. So I really liked and respected that. A couple things that came to mind was, did I, it looked like there was a Maul DeLorean, maybe they could easily add that in, but it looked like there was a guy with red armor with horns on it in one of the, in the fight scenes. It was also so interesting with somebody, which we had brought up previous episode, the guy obviously has a clone badge on his shoulder and they were clearly doing some scans and they said which shows which makes you think they are trying to clone him just like the clones all you need is a dna sample and then they can clone him so it's very interesting and then they, but they reference a certain person explicitly ordered us to bring it back alive but we don't know who that person is i don't recall if we ever did get to know who that particular person who requested this to be. Maybe they're trying to hint a correlation to the sequels and perhaps they're referring to the Emperor? Maybe? That seems most plausible, but maybe there is somebody else involved. I am not sure. So, very interesting episode indeed. Just little snippets of background there, some bounty hunter, the guild drama, but then some Mando drama, but ultimately them coming together because this is the way. So I really enjoyed this episode, a lot of cool elements for sure, um, and still some questions up in the air. I'm excited to see um, what the next episodes hold, but obviously super excited for season two too, what else we can uh, um, have. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you enjoyed this commentary and um, re-reactions I guess for seeing this, Feel free to upvote the video uh, if you enjoyed, obviously, if you have any thoughts to share, information, or tidbits, particularly to this episode or anything previous, feel free to share that in the comments below. Um, and otherwise, I appreciate you guys being here and supporting and watching, and I will certainly see you on the next one. Thanks.